Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome whoever the hell is listening. <laughs> I forgot the intro. <laughs> Jesus, that was what slick. The shit. No, we're keeping that. <laughs> welcome to this review of a new type of what the fuck is going on, mate? I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm completely lost. Have you got anything to say, Connor? Uh, I think I'll probably take the steer off you now by saying, Welcome one, welcome all to another international movie review on Unleash the Ghouls. Uh, this one was request- requested. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're both on one. Oh, we might as well be talking French because that's the language of choice this week. Requested by Ghoul Gang member Andy. Cheers, mate. We're going to get into High Tension, a.k.a. All Tension, aka Switchblade Romance from 2003. It revolves around two characters, Marie and Alex, who are really close friends, going to study at Alex's parents' house, yes. which is completely secluded from the world, and a serial killer just randomly decides to turn up at the door. The first scene of the film is weird, isn't it? Because we get to the house, and there's just a man sat in a truck, getting a blowjob. Normal. Oh, it's it's a severed head. Yeah. Uh, mm, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens is, Marie who is the short-haired girl of the two girls we follow through the film. The entire film is set up like a cat and mouse survival film where Marie is being hunted down by this serial killer who you very rarely see his eyes, but the way you, like, see the bottom of his face, I thought he looked a bit like Donald Trump with, like, a ginger wig. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. This killer comes to Alex's family home and decimates the family in so like many brutal brutally. ways. Yeah. Fucking hell. He does the dad in by putting his head through the banister on the stairs. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pushing a set of drawers through his head. Proper brutal. (laughs) It's It's crazy. And then he kills the mum by uh, slitting her throat. And then, yeah, fucking nearly beheads the mum. Nearly headless mum. And (laughs) then, like, cuts her fucking hand off for some reason. Pretty weird. Pretty weird, but that's not the worst of it. The absolute worst of it is the son. Yeah. This was fucking emotional, man. Jesus Christ. It was completely unexpected as well. Yeah. Yeah, because he goes out, uh, he's like legging it through the crop field, right? And he's like, oh, try to find his mom, like shouting, mother, mother, where are you? The fucking killer comes out with a double barrel shotgun, plows him down. Obviously, like, you don't you don't see it, no, so that no. made me kind of expect for the kid to be alive. And then later on, you get a bird's eye view shot of him just in the cornfield. Yeah, yeah. And that was like, Jesus Ooh. Christ, like, you've just murdered a full family. But then, yeah, like, Marie goes on the run because Alex has been bound and gagged and the killers put her in the back of his truck and drives away so Marie gets in the truck as like a stowaway to try and like like, try and save Alex whatever we have a bit of a scene at like a gas station don't we pulls up to the gas station and and Marie's like get out I'm gonna help us and she waits for him to fill up with fuel goes inside the station help it's urgent I need police (laughs) (laughs) the man comes in doesn't he and she's like shit hides away and the gas station attendant's kind of just like oh hello Jimmy and you're like oh fucking hell knows him yeah as if and then out the blue he's like i want some booze (laughs) and he makes him go to crawl over to the fucking counter and then suddenly axes him directly in the chest yes he does shit but then coffee let's get into the the fucking the crux of it because after a few more chase sequences between the killer and marie uh which involves some car chases through the woods and car crashes etc and then the police show up to the gas station and review the cctv and find that the person who killed the pump attendant guy with the axe is fucking Marie. I can't explain how much it threw me, you know. I know. Because, like, they, sh- they showed the CCTV and I was looking and I was like, oh, <laughs> Never! (laughs) Fuck right off. The entire film, the killer isn't there. The killer doesn't exist. It's all Bane Marie. It's just a manifestation from her because earlier on in the film, Alex is talking about, like, this boyfriend. She's like, oh, I'm seeing this guy, but he's actually got a girlfriend and I'm super interested and, oh, yeah, can't wait. Oh, um, Marie, why don't you have a boyfriend? She's like, no, I don't want a boyfriend. She's so fucking mental that because she likes someone that she's suspicious 
suspicious isn't a lesbian, she invents a killer and murders her whole family. Yeah, it's like, come on, mate, if you want to just scissor, like, ask. You know, don't go fucking killing kids. But they did fucking, like, completely throw the shit out of me. It was so confusing. I don't get it, though, because, like, there's so many scenes that now don't make sense. So mm -hmm. the the killer in the truck at the start of the film getting a blowjob off the beheaded head. Was, right. that, was that, like, supposed to be her? Was that well, not only that, was was that supposed to be her? But, like, if it's not a real character, then why are you even showing us? But also the first scene of the film, Marie runs to a stranger's car in the middle of the forest and asks for help. Then that same scene happens later on, but it's Alex who runs to the car. You've shown us something that's happened that doesn't happen. Thing is, like, most of the film, I was just like, ah, it's just a typical slasher where there's just a guy randomly killing people. Yeah, and yeah. Is it really entertaining and that? And then when the, the twist hit me, I was like, that's a pretty good twist because I did not expect it oh, at all. not a chance. But yeah, that's the twist. And that overall, that's high tension. It's a bloody good one. It is tense. It has got some really good suspense and it's directed very, very well. It was all right. And the twist made it like pretty decent for me. But it was just like, it was just an okay film. What made it good was the effects. All of the effects oh, yeah, were amazing. Oh, yeah, really good. But yeah, I'd probably, I don't know, I'd give it like a, a low five out of ten. A low five? Oh, I'm going to optimistically yeah. go for a seven. But yeah, that was our review of How to Tension, High Tension. Once again, cheers, Andy, for requesting the film. Thank you very much, uh, yeah, bud. thanks, Andy. Buy us a beer. Yes, all Ghoul Gang members, uh, if you like the work here you're doing on the channel, you can check the PayPal link in the top comments and stick a couple of quid in there for the boys to get a pint. That would be absolutely lovely. Or as they call it in France, le pint. <laughs> <laughs>